Welcome to the TBL version 2.0 playoffs. I'm your host, Tenacious Earl. This has been a project with the 2016 Super Advanced Stratomatic game. We're going to begin with semifinal one, game one here from City Field between the four seed Baltimore Orioles and the one seed New York Mets. Let's take a look at the brackets for this 2.0 playoffs in the 2016 season. We have, again, the Orioles and the Mets. They're going to be in the top part of that bracket. And the Padres, the three seed against the Blue Jays, will be the next game that we will show here on the channel. But first, we have this one. Going to roll for weather on the weather chart for July, so basically middle of the year, because that's when we are simulating this. So we're at City Field, and it's an 11. So an 11 on a night game is going to be normal conditions. So ones on the singles and 11s on the home runs. So these teams have very much uh, taken somewhat different roads here. The Mets pretty much dominated from the, the outset. They did have some competition with the Pirates and the Marlins early on, but those teams faded away and the Mets just were pretty consistent throughout the year. Uh, albeit they will have uh, to go through these playoffs without uh, Jacob deGrom, Matt Harvey, and some other pitchers who are injured and who got injured in real life. So, uh, But they will go with Syndergaard and Cologne and Robert Gesellman in the rotation, as well as, uh, I believe it's Seth Lugo, but I could be wrong about that. Excuse me. The Orioles, they kind of floundered around 500 the whole season, then they turned it on about halfway through, and then they kind of struggled at the end again. They will have a rotation, which you would expect, which is uh, Chris Tillman, and then uh, they'll also have Kevin Gaussman, but he won't be able to pitch game two, as he has pitched too recent for that. So uh, game two will be Wade Miley, and then I believe it's Gaussman, and then finally Yabani Gallardo will be the fourth pitcher. But let's get going here with game one of this uh, Tenacious Baseball League 2.0 playoff. Uh, the Orioles will send to the plate to face Noah Syndergaard, the Mets ace. This lineup, Adam Jones in center field will lead off. Hyunsoo Kim in left. Then Manny Machado at short. Chris Davis first base. Mark Trumbo, the right fielder. Pedro Alvarez gets a start at third. J.J. Hardy is injured for three more games, so they will have to do without his services at shortstop. Uh, Jonathan Scope, second base, Matt Weeders catching, and Chris Tillman. So here we go. Normal conditions in the ballpark here to this evening. Adam Jones against Syndergaard, and here we go. Five, six, righty, and it's going to be a base hit. Can he stretch it into a double 1 to 11? No, he won't. So a single for Adam Jones and a good start here for the Orioles. Uh, the Mets are a team you can run on here with Syndergaard on the mound. But they're not going to worry about that at the moment. They could hit and run, but instead they will send up Kim. Here we go. 2-8. That is a ground ball. They're going to get the lead runner. Can they get the second one? No, it's going to be fielder's choice as the turn cannot be made by T.J. Rivera. That's one out. Everyone's favorite guy to hate, Manny Machado, coming up with a runner on. One out. And that's going to be a strikeout. Four, seven roll, two outs. And it's going to be Chris Davis, the lefty. Power hitter. I think he had 16 home runs in this season. Can he get another one here? 6 11 lefty is a strikeout and two strikeouts for Syndergaard. A zero on the board in the top of the first for the Orioles. Okay, bottom of the first, the Mets. Their lineup will be Jose Reyes, third base, going to lead off. Curtis Granderson in center. We'll bat second, then Joanna Cespedes in left, Jay Bruce in right, as Drupal Cabrera short. Bat fifth. Then James Loney at first, TJ Rivera second base, Travis Darno the catcher, and Noah Syndergaard pitching. 
And he has his own hitting card. Chris Tillman uses pitcher's hitting card number one. Here is Reyes. 5'10", lefty. That's a grounder to shortstop. Uh, it's going to be Machado, 2, E23, 2, and a 10. He gets to it, E23, and a 6. That will require a look. And that is a play made for the first out. Curtis Granderson, 1-5 against a righty, strikes him out. Cespedes, 2 down to 10. Ballpark home run chance, 1-11. to Would put the Mets ahead, 1-0. Can it go? No, it's going to stay in there, and it will be a scoreless first. Okay, ready for the top of the second with Mark Trumbo, 6'3", righty. And he's going to hit it on the ground to short, and Cabrera makes no mistake about that. One out. Pedro Alvarez, 4'6", lefty, strikes him out. Two outs. Going well so far for both pitchers. Jonathan Scope, 5'3", righty. Ballpark single. Needs a one on the D20, and he doesn't get it. Liner to short, one, two, three, inning. Let's go right on to the bottom of the inning here. Jay Bruce will lead off. Six, five, lefty. This could go. It's a one to six chance at a home run, and it's a 15, so a double four. Jay Bruce to lead off the second for the Mets. Next up, as Drupal Cabrera. I'd like to try to hit one to the right side of the infield, move the runner over 2-3. That'll be a ground ball to second base, and that's exactly how it's going to work out. 4-3 is the way it goes on the score sheet, and that's going to be an out. Now, Sack fly is in order for James Loney. Can he get it deep enough in the outfield? 6-3 against a lefty. Another ballpark single chance. This would be a line out unless it's a 1. And it's an 8, so it will be a line out to the second baseman. Scope. And now it's TJ Rivera to try and bring home this run to go ahead one nothing and here is the pitch it's a one six it's one to ten single chance 50 percent can he get it and it's leaning so we're gonna re-roll and he gets it so and i hit the camera i'm sorry about that but uh that goes and i think it was gonna fall to five anyway so that's good that we didn't jip a run that's one run across and now travis darno Two outs, Rivera at first. Four, nine, righty. Fly ball to right, it's going to be caught by Trumbo, and that will end the inning. But a one nothing lead for the New York Mets. All right, the O's playing from behind. Weeders, six, eight. He's a lefty. He's going to ground it out to Rivera for the first out. Brings up Tillman. Nobody on, so he's going to be swinging away here. And that's going to be a strikeout. Fourth strikeout for Thor. And brings up Adam Jones. Six six righty. One to fourteen would be a two out single. Second time on, but no, 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 no. It will be a grounded to first, and uh, that will be it for the Orioles as the fat split does not break their way and bottom now and it will be Noah Syndergaard first off here 4-9 and that's a 4-9 is a fly ball to right field oh, wait he's a lefty grounded to first my bad he is a left handed hitter so grounded to first and Davis will take that to the bag himself one out Jose Reyes 4-3 lefty Fly ball to right field, Trumbo, a horrible fielder. Five and three, and that's going to mean me looking up some stuff here because that will definitely be a hit of some sort here. So let's dig through the charts. 
Five and three is a double with one out for Reyes. And then there's a 14 on an E11. No error, but his lack of range puts the Mets with a guy in scoring position for Granderson. Two, one away, 6-8 lefty, that's a strikeout. That's helpful for the Orioles. They want to get out of this inning with no more runs conceded. Cespedes, two outs. 3-4, that's a strikeout. So a good way to work around that double. And the Mets still lead 1-0 going to the fourth. And... All right, so only one hit so far for the Orioles going to the fourth. And it's going to be Kim up 6-4. It's going to be... As Drupal Cabrera checked here on a ground ball shortstop X. 3 and 11, he will get to it. And a 5 rare play, nobody on. We're just going to count that as a 6 3 put out, one out. Machado, 3 6. Ground, that's a pop up to short, and it'll be caught by Cabrera. Two outs. And Chris Davis. 6-6 six, six lefty, and that's a two-out single. Brings up Trumbo. 4-7 righty, and that's a strikeout to end the inning. So, okay. One hit, one left, but no runs to show for it. Five strikeouts for Syndergaard, two for Tillman, and Jay Bruce, who doubled and scored to lead off the second, will be the first to go again. One, three, ballpark single. Again, that's a one, needs a one, doesn't get it. So, liner to second baseman scope. One out as Drupal Cabrera. Six, five from the left side. This is another, that's that home run chance. A one to six going to be a double. Mets have hit that spot twice now. James Loney. Another second two out double in a row here. For, or one out double, I mean. Four, six lefty. And that's going to score a run as that's a surefire double, except for 19 or 20. That's a six. So a double for Loney. In comes Cabrera. Two nothing Mets. TJ Rivera. 6-5 righty. Another that that's that same roll. It's coming up again. One to nine would be a two-run homer. It's a two, it's gone. Normal power against righties and a two-run homer for TJ Rivera it gives the Mets a 4-0 lead in the fourth. So Double double homer and Tillman's on the ropes here. Brings up Darno with nobody on. Five six righty. It's a ground ball to third base and Alvarez makes the play. And now Cindergard. One nine he strikes out. That retires the side, but three come across. It is four nothing Mets. Okay, so Pedro Alvarez is going to lead off the fifth here. Orioles need to answer with some runs, but that's going to be a strikeout on a 2-9. That's six. Jonathan Scope. 4-11 righty. Fly ball to left field. Cespedes a good, pretty decent fielder. 2-E7. Two 2-20 and 20, he gets to it. E7. And a nine, and I believe that will be okay. I'm going to double check. And it is. He makes the play for the second out. Brings up Matt Weeders. Two hits so far for the Orioles. Oh, missed the, uh, didn't get them all in there, so we're going to reroll 110. Ball, wow, that's, Mets fans won't be happy about that. That is a 110. Potential ballpark home run, 1-11, to 11, and it is gone. So,
home run, solo home run for Matt Weeders, and that will bring up Chris Tillman. They are going to let him hit, and it's going to be a strikeout. But they do get one run on a... Cindergaard uh, was not happy because he thought that the batter didn't get the timeout called in time. And he did, so that uh, he threw the perfect pitch. But instead, we're going to the bottom of the fifth, and Reyes is going to lead off here with a 4-1 lead for New York. 5-12, lefty needs a one for a single. Otherwise, it'll be an out, and he is out. Liner to second. Curtis Granderson. Over two, a couple strikeouts, four, six lefty. And here is going to be a double, unless it's a high number, and it is a double. Ioana Cespedes. 4-8, righty, strikes him out. Four in the six columns have their dubious little notches there. Jay Bruce now with two down and a runner at second. 6-10 lefty is a strikeout, and he gets through that without too much more problem it was a he's had uh, doubles in every inning except the first I believe it, yeah every inning except the first and uh, that is what has staked the Mets to their four to one lead into the sixth here's gonna be Adam Jones now top of the sixth inning 610 again Ground to third base. Reyes 2, E20. 2 and 7. He gets to it. That is a 14 on an E20. That is a questionable. What did we say? 14 E20. Yeah, that's an error. So Reyes boots it, and it's going to be a one base uh, error committed by Reyes. And let's see if that starts something for the Orioles. All right, so Kim, 6-7 righty, grounder to second, could be two. Rivera, 3-E6, and well, he would not be responsible for holding, wait, let's see, Kim. What, what was this? 6-7 was the roll, so yeah, it's still the second base X. Uh, but with a lefty, Rivera would be responsible, so... It'll be 3-E-6, 3, and 3 is going to be a single. And that will be okay for the E-6, but a 3 on a 3 rating is going to be a single with one base advance. So first and second, nobody out. That brings up Manny Machado, tying run. And a potential wild pitch, Syndergaard 1-12. It's a six, so everybody's going to move up a bag. Takes a double play out of order. And here we go with Manny. Three, seven, a grounder to shortstop. They're going to play with the infield back here, so they will give up a run. And I believe the runner at second would hold. Second and third. Infield back, ground ball A is a five. Runners advance a base, so both of them get to advance. So an RBI for Machado, 4-2 now. And a runner at third to make it 4-3 possibly, if uh, Chris Davis can find a single. Of course, if he could find a home run, this could be real trouble. First and third, 4-8 lefty is a strikeout. Second out, and now it's going to be up to Trumbo to try and bring in a couple more runs here. Can he do it? Trumbo, 4-9, righty is a strikeout, and they didn't need that four column to come up. They do get one run. It's an unearned. And we're through five and a half now. Four to two. Orioles chipping away. Orioles are going to get Tommy Hunter and Donnie Hart starting to warm up here. Try and 
just in case Tillman doesn't get too far here in the six. This is his inning of weakness. Another four, four, six. That's a one. That's that. That's that double roll again, and it is so. The four on this die is loaded, it seems, <laughs> and it's leaning. We'll re-roll it. Oh, there's a potential balk or passed ball. Another four. Passed ball check for Weeders. He is a zero. So here we go. Runner at second. Two, three. That's going to be a set grounder to second. Wait, that's the wrong card. Two, three. Grounder to third base, B. So the runner will have to hold there. That'll be a five, three. As nobody can advance from third. Two, third. One, you have the play going to third. One out. Trying to get a little fast here. It's not helping me. 3-7. It's going to be a pop-up. Underneath it. Calling everybody off is Machado. He makes the catch. Two outs. Now, Travis Darno. They could put him on to bring Syndergaard to the plate. They will go ahead and pitch to Darno. 5-7 righty. Okay. Grounder to second base. Scope 2-E8. And they wouldn't be, with two outs, they wouldn't be holding the runner. So two and five, he does barely get to it. And he does make the play. And if he was holding the runner, I don't know. But with two outs, they aren't holding that guy so much. And so no runs, a hit, and one left. Going to the seventh. Pedro Alvarez for nine lefty. One to eleven would be a single. Can they get one to lead? Nope, they can't. It's going to be a liner to second base, caught by Rivera right on a rope, and scope liner to third, caught by Reyes. And now Weeders, who got the only, uh, well, not the only RBI. He did. Solo home run, five, eight, lefty strikes him out. So, one, two, three, inning in the seventh for Cindergard. And I think that's going to be it for him. He is reaching his limit here. So, let's uh, go ahead and pinch hit for him here in the bottom of the seventh. And the Orioles are going to make a change pitching wise as well but and they will they're planning to bring in Donnie Hart the lefty and so the Mets are going to counter with uh, Wilmer Flores we'll get a pinch hit here Chris Tillman six innings pitched Okay, and then Flores. Okay, so here we go with Flores against the lefty. Four, six, right-hander. That's a single, so Flores with a pinch hit. Reyes. Five, eight, righty. Grounder to shortstop B. That'll get the lead runner. Fielder's choice. Reyes will beat out the relay. And then Granderson, a uh, potential balker passed ball. Balk rating is zero for Hart, so we don't have to worry about that any further. For seven, so that's a single. Two base. Oh, wait, that's a strikeout. My bad. I was looking from the right side. That's a four, seven lefty. That is a strikeout. And that's the second out. And now Cespedes. They got to avoid the, this four if they can. One four. It's grounded to uh, it's ground to shortstop. And onto it is Machado. He throws to first. And that gets the Orioles out of it. Still 4 2 going to the eighth. Okay, so setup man Addison Reed in here in the top of the eighth for the Mets with a 4 2 lead. Going to face a pinch hitter for Donnie Hart. And it will be lefty Michael Bourne coming to the plate here. 
four three lefty that's going to be a ballpark single one is the only roll that helps him and that's going to be a liner to second base one out so Bourne is retired Adam Jones three four that's a grounder to second base Rivera throws it over to first in time two outs Hyun Soo Kim to 11 one to nine would be a single otherwise it'll be a line out to second and it is going to be a single two eleven and a one to nine and he gets a seven so machado comes up as the tying run can he take reed deep here and make a whole new ball game out of this three five no he's gonna be grounded back to reed reed throws to first and we're going to go to the bottom of the eighth, and the Orioles will have Brad Brock emerge. Actually, that's not Brock. They're going to... Uh, yeah, actually, it will be Brad Brock. Yep, I was... Wasn't sure about that, but... He will be the pit, the, the relief pitcher here facing Jay Bruce so 4-2 bottom of the eighth Brad Brock coming in to pitch the eighth for the Orioles 370 strikes out one down to the right hander so here is Cabrera switch hitter he's gonna bat from the left side 612 fly ball left Kim a four and an 11 we'll have to look and see if he gets under the 11 I think he makes the play with an e3 but the question is, does he have the range to get the first part of that? Four and 11. And he doesn't. That's a single. Brings up James Loney. Four, seven lefty. That's a strikeout. Two down. And now a Rivera. Runner at first. Two outs. 1-8, grounded a third base, and that's going to be a good play made by Alvarez. We're getting to the ninth here. It's going to be Juris Familia coming in to try and get the save and give the Mets a 1-0 lead in this semifinal number one. All right, well, this is the setup here. Familia, closer, facing Chris Davis, Mark Trumbo, Pedro Alvarez. Three of the toughest hitters you're going to find in the Orioles lineup. As far as just being able to kill the ball. First one is Davis. 6-8 lefty is a strikeout. One out. Mark Trumbo now. 5-6 righty. Another strikeout. Two down. Familia. Getting the better of those two guys. Now here is Pedro Alvarez. If he can get on, it would be Scope. Another good hitter in the Orioles lineup. Can Pedro Alvarez keep this game alive? 5-8 lefty. That's a grounder to second. Can Rivera make the play? 3-E6. I think if he survives the 3, which the 3 for the infield is a 1-4 through four would be a problem otherwise. It is a two. That'll be a single. And that is a tough break for the Mets. It will be Pedro Alvarez reaching on the single. And brings up Jonathan Scope. Two outs. Runner at first. Here we go. The pitch. Four, seven, righty. That's a grounder to short. They're going to take the short way. Going to be 6-4 to four as Cabrera make, throws it to Rivera. And that is another zero. Two runs for the Orioles. Four for the Mets. Syndergaard gets the win. And the Mets take a 1-0 lead over the Orioles in the semifinal. The loss goes to Chris Tillman. Save to Familia. And that's it. We're going to 
Let's see how many uh, strikeouts do we have here for Syndergaard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strikeouts for for Noah Syndergaard. So a good adding from him. Two runs, only one of them earned the home run, but from Weeters, the other run was they he reached Jones reached on an error. Uh, and I think I got the error, the person who committed the error wrong there, but uh, that's okay. It may have, was it, was it Reyes? I, I can't remember. Anyway, I, I wrote it down there wrong, but I'm not really going to keep hard stats for this anyway. This is just going to be more along the lines of some just global seeing what happens and so we will go to the game log score for the Orioles 2 score for the Mets 4 and hopefully this updates correctly if it doesn't I'll fix it but let's see one nothing Mets currently on top so tune in for the next game which will be the first game of the Blue Jays Padres series and then we will continue with this one with the Mets trying to take a two-game lead in this semifinal. So if you could hit like, I'd appreciate it. We'll see you soon here on Tabletop Baseball Plus.